สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make fish sauce fried chicken wings. But first, here's the story. My brother texted me a while back saying, "I got chicken wings. What should I make that's quick and simple?" And very quickly, I said, oh, "Why don't you make pi kai thot nam pla?" And then he's like, "Oh." And I thought, "Wait a minute." Why don't I make pikai t a n a m p l a Because it's such a simple and easy and delicious dish. I can't believe I've never shown you until now. So pikai means chicken wings, t a t means to fry, and n a m p l a is fish sauce. It's a really popular dish in Thailand, especially as a drinking food, because it's sort of like munchy and salty and goes super well with a cold beer. And it's one of the easiest fried chicken recipe you'll ever make. Let's get started. So I've got some wing flats here, and for this dish, we only use the flats. Not to say that you can't use the drums, but I think it's better with the flats as a higher skin to meat ratio. And when we go to fry it, it's actually easier to work with these flats. So you know, they're also the better part of the wing anyway, right? Right. Very very simple. I'm just going to season this with fish sauce. And you notice I'm using a flat dish for this because if I use like a bowl, then all the fish sauce can end up at the bottom, and you're not going to get an even distribution. So something like this is good, or a Ziploc bag is really good too. And I'm just going to toss them. So I'll let this marinate for about half an hour, and then I'll come and flip them halfway through to distribute that fish sauce. So it works well if you find a dish that fits them just right, so you don't end up with like fish sauce all over the place that's not touching the chicken. And that's it. I told you this was easy. So the chicken's done. Now I'm going to dry off the marinade by putting it on this paper towel here. And you want to dry these off because you don't want the oil going crazy when you fry these. Just blot the top dry as well. All right. And now, as an option, you could pepper these if you want to. It's just got some ground white pepper here. You can just keep it simple and just do fish sauce. Now I'm going to dust these with some rice flour, which is going to help absorb moisture from the skin, create a bit of a crisp crust. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my sieve, dust it like that, just so it's mostly covered. And I just discovered that this way you use up less rice flour. You could just like add it to a bowl and give it a toss. And then I'm going to flip them all and dust the other side. You can use cornstarch, but I do prefer the texture that rice flour gives. So once it's mostly covered, I'm going to shake off the excess. I'm going to throw all of these back into the sieve and then give it a shaky, shaky, because extra flour will gum up the oil real fast. And if you see any bald spots, now the time to take care of them. And then just toss, 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 and then all the little extra bits will fall to the bottom. And that's it. Let's go fry these up. As you can see, I'm not using very much oil here. I just need about a quarter of an inch. You could totally just deep fry this if you want, but I'm taking advantage of the fact that we're using flats, and I can actually shallow fry them because flats make a nice even contact with the oil. So just about a quarter inch. I'm going to turn this on. Wait till it gets hot. I'm going to go in with the pretty side down first. It doesn't have to be uber hot. This way, it gives you enough time to just like go in with the individual pieces, and then the oil will come up about halfway, and it's perfect. You save yourself some oil. The wings in North America bleed, and you'll notice that though, as once they start frying, they'll start to bleed, and it bleeds because bones of the chickens are still quite porous. So sometimes there's blood that comes out. Like, don't freak out. It's totally normal. We're gonna cook all the blood off. It's fine. It just looks a bit like a murder scene right now. <laughs> so the first side I find is gonna take four to five minutes. You want to wait until the color is really nice and golden brown, a deep golden brown, not a light golden brown. And then the second side will take less time. Oh yeah, look at that. And just as a a tip, I've turned down the heat while I'm flipping these. Just so that it's not as aggressive. Check these out. They look so good, and they were so easy. Now, what you're looking for, the skin should be dry. Like if I rub the skin, like you can kind of hear, right? Like that it's dry skin. 
we don't even typically serve these with any sauce. It's just so good on its own. Again, it's like drinking food. So this is dry and salty and then you've got your beer. Oh, so good. Now I'm going to go with this top one. Mm. Oh, the smell of fried chicken. Mm. Oh, hot. <laughs> It's like magic chicken. I need a beer. Where is my beer? Ah, so good. I mean, this recipe really goes to show the magical ingredient that fish sauce is. I mean, there's basically one thing and the flavor that comes out of it. It's just like, it's incredible. Like, I really, really want you to try it just so that you know how good fish sauce is. And it's, it's still juicy and that's the thing about wings there's a lot of bones in there and the bones help to keep the meat moist it's just so good like so good let me wrap up the show really quickly because I really want to finish my wing. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I am also on Pinterest as well, for those of you who are pinners. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an awesome thing like this. And when you do, click that little bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. If you love the show, you want to support us, check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. One of the easiest fried chicken recipe you'll ever make. Let's get started. That was beautiful.